Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to yet another wonderful show from the good ship Pip Pip. Now, my crew has been working diligently for the last two days to recreate one of my favorite haunts in a little place called Carmel, California. This is the rooftop bar at a lovely Italian restaurant called Vesuvio, owned by my good dear friend Rich Pepe and his son Christian. And, and actually, Christian works for me as my chief mixologist on the good ship Pip Pip. And he'd been with me now for a number of years. In fact, he has designed his own line of alcohol, which we actually uh, keep on board the boat. This is our go-to booze. As we say, this is the Doc Pepe Labs. Now, Christian, thank you for being the mixologist and head bartender. It's wonderful having you, old boy. Thank you for so, having me. You're yes, welcome. Thank so, you. It's a pleasure to be your personal bartender. Uh, sure. it's, it's wonderful to have you. It means I can actually take a little bit of time off because uh, normally I make all the drinks myself, but today I was so busy making so much money that I'm just a little bit tired. So Christian's going to make some drinks for us tonight. So. Christian, what are you going to make for me, my friend? So, tell me tonight we have three cocktails. They're all my personal barrel-aged cocktails. We're going to start with the first one I ever created, which is the Old Fashioned. It's got a base of bourbon whiskey, and it has Angostura bitters and sugar, and an infusion of orange peel and black cherry. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. And, you know, I make all my drinks from scratch. And, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, I did make a uh, lovely Negroni from, from the very beginning. But... Now, apparently, all of these, all you do is just mix them with ice, and there you go. It's off to the races. So, the first drink again is the old, old, fashioned. old fashioned. Old fashioned. Now, I haven't had an old fashioned in a long time. That's because I am old fashioned. Now, with these, they're fully assembled. They're full strength, so we're just going to stir it with ice to dilute it and chill it, and that's it. And we're going to pour it. So now you're going to stir this and not shake it. I'm going to stir it and not shake it. That way we don't incorporate any unwanted bubbles or ice chips. We're going to make a real silky smooth texture just by stirring it. So now, as you all know, I love to shake the dickens out of most of my drinks, but I just learned something new. Never shake bourbon. You don't want to, well, you, you well, don't want to well, shake a drink. Shake where, where it's an all spirits drink, where everything is already homogenous. Ah. If you're trying to combine ingredients, like in a margarita where you have citrus juices, then that's when you want to shake. Well, I'm gonna have to get me one of those nifty little copper strainers, I tell you. Oh yeah, they're pretty. It's all about presentation. Well, it is, isn't it? Because it's got to look good. Oh, look at those cherries. So it's an orange and a nice amarena cherry, boom. So I think they've done a pretty good job. Thank you, my friend. Let's taste this and see what they are. Uh... Mmm. Now that is one damn fine old fashioned. I say pip pip to this. Mmm. Now what's your next beverage, sir? Okay. The most classic of classics is the Manhattan. Have That's you ever, a little place in New York, you ever meet a bartender, yeah, that doesn't, have, doesn't know how to make a Manhattan, you should just leave. Just leave. Well, now, there's good advice. Definitely good advice. If they don't know how to make a Manhattan, leave. Here's the Manhattan. If you don't know how to make a Manhattan, you should just, I mean, just get another job. It's, it's unreal. So, Manhattan 212 is the recipe. Two parts bourbon or rye, one part sweet vermouth, two dashes of bitters. The way to remember the recipe is 212 is the area code for Manhattan. Ah. So there you go. So we're gonna do the same thing, about three ounces of my barrel-aged Manhattan. It's been aged in a port barrel. Are you sure three that's ounces. enough? Three ounces. Three ounces? Two, two one, two. two ounces. I think he's, two ounces, he's going a little bit on the skinny side for me, but... Uh, he likes some, actually, you know what? Okay. So no, 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 that's fine. Yeah, I've yeah, already yeah. got this lovely old-fashioned here. You're my only customer tonight, so why not? Well, goodness. So, now I have a policy whenever I'm bartending is, if you don't know what's what the ingredients are in the drink, you don't get it. That's it. Some people will go to a bathroom and say, oh, I would like a, I don't know, sex on the beach or something. And then you, what's in that? I don't know. Oh, you can't have it. That's my philosophy. <laughs> anyway, so while he's making this Manhattan, I should tell you that if you happen to be in Carmel and are buying lovely pizza or excellent food from Vesuvio's, 
Christian has pre-made these little to-go cups. So you don't have to worry about making your own drinks. You just add in ice. Brilliant. Brilliant, I tell you. You can actually carry this in your car. It's already sealed. Very clever, sir. Very clever. Thank you. Thank oh, you're so welcome. I'm going to garnish this with an amarena cherry. Mmm. Mm. Oh, my goodness. A Manhattan. I love this. Mmm. Oh, Lord. So the vermouth in there is my proprietary vermouth. It took Ooh. me about a year to figure out how to make vermouth. But when I did, it tastes beautiful. It tastes like the Piemontese vermouth. Real dark, rich, vanilla forward vermouth. I was going to say, this has got a little bit of a smoky quality to it. It's lovely. This is a good, rich Manhattan. I say pip pip to this one, too. Mmm. Oh my goodness, I'm really enjoying this. I'm, I think I'm going to keep you on, Christian. Oh, thank you. Good. Oh, you're so welcome. I might even give you a raise. It's good to be gainfully employed. It is, right. absolutely. Okay, so moving on to our final cocktail. It's my personal favorite, which is the Negroni. And you know I love a good Negroni. <laughs> yes. You've made me a few in, in, a, I have. in our time I, together. I yeah. have made you a few. It goes back and but, forth. But I think that yours is going to be better. We'll find out. Well, let's see. So the Negroni, is, it's my baby. I made, it, Negroni is three ingredients. It's London dry gin, sweet vermouth, and Campari, which is a Italian bitter liqueur. Well, I couldn't really get any of those three things in a large quantity, so I decided to make my own. So the vermouth is the same as the vermouth in the Manhattan. The gin is distilled at Doc Pepe's lab in a London dry recipe. It's my own personal recipe. And then the Campari, substitute which is my version of the italian bitter liqueur it took forever to figure out how to make because there's no recipe for that anywhere out there but when i got it i got it and now we combine them all age it all in a bourbon barrel and now we're going to make one for you so same thing about three ounces it's about three i like the way he pours i mean it's, it's the way i pour you know no such thing as a small beverage no definitely not Mm. Negroni, invented in Italy in 1919, named after a guy named Count Camillo Negroni, who wanted a, a drink that was a strong version of an Americano, which was vermouth and bitter liqueur and soda water. And he said, ah, I don't need soda, give me some gin. And that's where the Negroni came. So people started ordering a drink in the style of Count Negroni, and that's where the Negroni cocktail came from. So it gets its red color, I can tell I'm going to like this. You know it's good when it has the good red color. And then in the Italian style, we just a little half orange wheel tucked in between the drink and the glass, the ice in the glass. And there you go. Well, thank you, sir. Mmm, let's see. Let's see if this is as good as mine. You know, Christian? I have to tell you, yours is far better. Mmm. Get that lovely uh, dry, herby quality to it from, from your mixers. This is fantastic. Uh, this would go great with pizza, I tell you. Right. Would mm. you like one? I would love some pizza. Do pizza? we have any? We do. We have a margarita pizza came right out of the oven. Oh my goodness, look at that. This pizza is our, our, your only customer. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this. Vesuvio pizza brought up from the, the depths of the kitchen. Oh, look at that, this lovely fresh basil. Yes, oh. Mmm. My goodness, this is fantastic. Now, with the Negroni, this is the very, very best thing. So I have to thank my crew for doing such an excellent job on this replica of the rooftop bar at Vesuvio in Carmel, California. And Christian, you have a job still, my friend. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Appreciate no, it. this is outstanding. And to all of you out there, pip pip. <laughs>